Johnny, he liked big bands back then in the 50s, 60s. He liked that sound, but he wanted to incorporate that big sound into, now they call it salsa. Back then, well, it was called uh, tropical music or mambo, especially people recognize that word more than salsa. Because salsa is a compilation of a lot of genres together. He created an LA-based sound, which is totally different from any other sound. It was a Chicano, a Mexican, East Coast type of signature sound. And he always had that sound, that punch, with the bass, with the ampeg. Other bands didn't have it, because back then, a lot of the other bands used to uh, use the, the bass guitar, and he used the upright. For us dancers, when you feel that punch of the bass and the conga, like, it's, it's more punch instead of the bass guitar. That was Johnny. He's just a great guy. He always was dressed sharp. He had the bass up there, good instruments behind him. They always played in unison and rhythm. Uh, it was just a joy to be around a band so as good as Johnny. They would pull people in. Johnny also incorporated the baritone saxophone sound, which is very typical of Puerto Rico. He had an international band, a band that could play everything from old cha-cha-chas to merengues to son montunos to boleros, you name it. He had a Cuban style on top of that, which he mixed with the baritone saxophone Puerto Rican element. Altogether, that was the sound of Johnny Martinez. He had a unique um, way of making the traditional New York uh, sound, the, uh, the Puerto Rican sound, the Cuban sound. He had a way of synthesizing it uh, and, and making it kind of West Coast. I used to follow him because it was, he was my favorite band. I used to hear him play at Quiet Cannon. My first club that I went to was Virginia's. I think we were all like 17, 18. So we would get into Virginia's, and that was my first experience with salsa. The closest clubs, I think, were in Glendale, a, like Elysian Park area. Uh, that's where we, we would go to hear him. Um, I became a real big fan of Johnny. Some stuff is classic. It's always going to run through. Johnny was classic, and I think that's why I liked him so much, it was because it was classic. This is another point that I like to mention, that he gave a lot of work to a lot of people. He fed a lot of families. There are so many musicians that, had it not been for Johnny Martinez's band, would not have progressed beyond. Johnny had a certain way of dealing with his band members. He always allowed them to go wherever they wanted. A lot of times, whether they were a singer, horn player, drummer, they would want to take off and do their own thing, and Johnny would always let them go. He was not that type of guy that would hold anybody back. He always gave people an opportunity and let them move on. If they wanted to come back, he'd welcome them with open arms. He was just so generous with me and so supportive. You know, Johnny is, is good to the musicians. And he showed me my first, what they call a son montuno, bass pattern. Boom, 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 boom. He wrote the whole thing out. He said, Jim, this is the way you have to play it. And he's, he was very generous, spent two, three hours with me. And at the end of the lesson, I said, okay, Johnny, uh, you know, what do I owe you? He goes, oh, don't worry about it. I said, what are you, Johnny, come on, don't worry, I'll just come next week. A pesar del dolor.